Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So you all know at this point Rise of Tiamat is getting reworked and you can see some footage here of the new reworked Tiamat. Now I've gone through already in videos showcasing how we've completed it but I still have yet to make a mechanics video and I'll make sure to do that for you guys before it's released. Now we still don't know exactly when it is being released and when the normal one and when the master one's being released but we do know it will be after module 23. The trial overall is pretty fun and refreshing with regards to the mechanics. A few things remain similar. You're of course still going to be fighting Tiamat and the heads individually. And what's new is ultimately the new gem mechanics with the five different gem types cancelling five different spell types. You can see me casting black here to cancel that one. I'll explain a little bit more later. And also an end phase where you all have to go and burn down Tiamat's chest and then the tanks are occupied with some mini bosses. Now the devs have gone and made a dev blog on this Rise of Tiamat rework. There'll be a link in the video description below where you can go through it. Now I want to go over exactly what rewards you can hope to obtain when this new trial along with the most ultimate achievement you can manage to and hope to obtain within this new master Tiamat. Bunch of things you can do to obtain a pretty cool looking reward. Before we get started, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. Now I've went and completed the master version of this trial three times on the previous server along with a few times of the normal version. And I'd like to go over exactly what rewards I was dropping within those trials and you can see what you can hope to then obtain. In the normal version of Tiamat, you'll be still being able to obtain the older Tiamat set. This is the set healers would use. You can see I'm still using that on my Paladin healer, mainly for the outgoing healing bonus, and they also get some incoming healing to go with it. And it's actually being boosted to 1000 item level, which makes it a good bit more competitive with other sets out there. For example, the phylactery set. And very nicely, you'll be able to drop the set on straight up a legendary variance and you'll be able to then go and sell it. It won't be bound upon obtaining it. Now the set doesn't sell for an awful lot, but you can see the artifact definitely does. So there will definitely be some cause to farm the normal version to get these to drop and sell them for those healers. Otherwise, I have gone and completed this normal tier bat a bunch of times on the previous server, however, only recorded once, and we can see some sort of loot we're getting in the chests. Again, nothing particularly special here. We did get lucky on one of our drops, getting a greater stone of health, and that was the pinnacle of the loot we could obtain. Anything special is these scrolls of protection and also these potions of dragon slaying. And it's all just against dragons, so you would use it then in Tiamat. Otherwise, you're getting the seals of the north, which are the newest seals, and then some rough astral diamonds and refinement points. So let's move on to what will you be obtaining in the master version of Tiamat. The master version will be a lot more challenging with everything just basically dealing a lot more damage. Again, I'll go through that in a video where I go through all the different mechanics. You still have spell effects in even normal version as you do in master. They can just be more punishing when everything else deals more damage. But again, as per the dev blog, we are actually getting a new Tiamat set. And I've showcased that in a video before. I've gone through it in detail. And this set's just here. Very oddly, they seem to have reverted the tooltip on it or they just never updated it and posted an older version in the block which is highly likely but we can see we have the set on my tank build just here and it's giving that eight percent damage resistance and eight percent critical avoidance whereas the blog shows power instead so yes indeed in this new master version of tiamat you can drop each of these set pieces and they're not bound when you pick them up or when you get them to drop in a chest so you'll be able to sell them and make some profit and the targeted audience for the set is of course your tanks so there's not a whole lot of them out there initially it will sell for a lot just people will want it for their collections people will want it on their alt tanks and tanks in general will want it mainly just because it's shiny it's pretty cool to have gear pieces that are mythic and the set itself is pretty reliable. You gain the bonus whenever your shield drops 
drops below 15%. So in challenging content, it can be pretty useful. And looking at different rewards we obtain, yeah, you can see this is the kind of stuff. We're getting still premium loot in here, like companion upgrade tokens, still getting those scrolls of protection and potions of dragon slaying. And you can see then just some rough astral diamonds and some refinement points. And it's pretty random on the amount of rough astral diamonds. We had a diamond there. We get a hellhound. Unfortunately, the best thing I obtained in this master version was probably this Tiamat's Arcane Globe. We get some companion upgrade tokens to go with it, and we'll also get some boxes of elemental strands. That will be for dragon hunts. We also got some legendary dye. We'll really have to see how valuable that will be. Will people like light lemon dye who knows but just because it's legendary and it probably has a pretty low drop rate it'll probably still be expensive but that was it we just got the artifact some companion upgrade tokens some mount upgrade tokens and yes of course this legendary dye not too impressed on the drops and you'll only be really running master team in my opinion for the novelty of it and to obtain this new set but but we have some more news looking at the dev blog we can see the bottom set section here you're going to have a bunch of achievements you can complete obtaining the tiamat toppler if you get the ultimate achievement along with the tiamat cape which looks pretty cool we can see that here the exact achievements we need to complete in order to get this title and cape tiamat toppler you'll have to complete rise of tiamat master just completing it 10 heads better than five you have to complete it without anybody dying and then you express route to nine hells you have to complete it within 12 minutes and then you have to complete it with no assistance needed so without using any of the dragon soul powers those are like the gems and then you'll have to complete it without any of the spells activating meaning you will have to cancel each spell before it's triggered and that can be quite challenging in my opinion this is the hardest one to succeed because you need a hundred percent success rate everybody has to be spot on with those spells you only have like three seconds maybe five seconds maximum to cancel a spell and then coordinated takedown which we did obtain is relatively easy if you're just coordinated and what are those spell effects well after you kill this initial group of ads here at the steps you're heading up and you can see the different gems here and i'm going for the black gem just here i remind everybody and i pick up my black gem and you won't be using the gems until you move on to the defend the clerics phase where you have the mini bosses and all the ads and then every now and again you will see one of the dragon heads eyes will glow you can see red is just activated there and somebody will get a red effect on them and it didn't trigger on our side it triggered on the other side and you will get significantly less spell effects in the normal version which this is just here and ads are squishy as all hell you can even kill the mini bosses here in normal because they don't have that much hit points. Now there's a spell effect. You see the green one there and Nami went and cancelled it. And that's just from the green dragon head. There's five different types. So this is going to be, in my opinion, the ultimate challenge for Tiamat to be able to obtain this Tiamat Toppler title along with this cloak. So if you see anybody running with that, you know they've put in their work and the hours and yeah, probably got lucky to obtain it. I don't think we'll be seeing anybody running around with this anytime soon, but we'll have to see how try hard groups are out there. Overall, I'm pretty happy that they're doing this. They're adding some really cool achievements that are quite a challenge to obtain just by running the latest content. Well, okay. Tiamat's been out forever, but you know what I mean. It's been reworked, it's become a challenge, and now should have a lot of fun in it. At least I did testing it out and just running it when we did. Here's the black gem on myself. That's another you want to cancel it before it causes any nasty area effect, which I did. Having everybody to make sure they cancel it before it triggers is yeah going to be challenging. Take a lot of practice. There's the white gem just there. Everybody needs to know what gem they have, who has it. And then so you can see nobody's canceling it. Nobody's canceling the poor guy to break him out. <laughs> But that's it for this video. Just wanted to showcase the ultimate achievement for the new Tiamat trial. Of course, many of you won't be able to obtain it as it's just, yeah, really challenging. You need a super try hard group who plays all the time and nails down every single mechanic. So with that said, if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.